there's a few things in life that just come to you and come to you right at the right time. And really pleasing to see stuff coming up out of the ground. It's like the foundations of a house really are laid. I'm now ready to get on with the rest of the fit out and I bet you're happy about it as well. After what has been a pretty big year, I've uh, just had a massive clean up up here and, uh, and I'm ready to start a whole new phase and I'm pretty damn excited, you know, just to get to the point where I can start cutting out bulkheads and, uh, and getting my templates done, make sure that they're all correct. Uh, there's going to be a lot of constructions, a lot of Lego-like uh, like, uh, stuff going on here on the mould, so I'm going to go up here. It's looking really uh, nice and neat up here and uh, I'm ready for a whole new phase. So now that the hull's completely finished, I've decided I'm going to set myself up a big uh, table. I've bought some form ply here, which is a um, concrete form plywood with a very, very super smooth finish. I'm going to use that to laminate the bulkheads onto. This is one of the cheapest options, about 80 bucks a sheet for a 17mm ply. Um, that's going to work a treat because I'll be able to set up here and do three or four bulkheads in one sitting rather than having to do them individually in, uh, in the lack of space that I have down in my factory where I've got all the other moulds sort of uh, being polished up in various stages for the modules for around the bathroom behind me and uh, a couple of the other bulkhead modules that I've got going on here. So I'm uh, going to set this up now and, uh, and then I can go forward again. Right, it's, it's a very different world up here now. I've got uh, that big table up here that I can uh, you know, lay up and check out my plans. Nice to have a big working space. My factory's a little bit full at the moment, so um, I've bought my plans up here and I've now, um, today I'm gonna start sorting out some of these templates. And um, have a look here, I've got my wing plate um, template diagram I've got to loft them onto uh, some some uh, MDF to at least get some sort of a decent template for the forward wing plates that run vertically along here that are the compartments hoping to get those uh, pretty much sorted today so yep nice and uh, nice and neat and and very very happy with uh, having this big table ready to go so I decided to protect my table with this, uh, I guess you call it felt, it was an old uh, kayak cover that I've cut in half. I'm going to protect this, uh, this surface on the, on the form ply because I intend to lay up on it uh, at a later date. But for now, I'm going to start uh, doing a little bit of uh, what I'd call lofting, I guess. And uh, I'm going to begin producing these wing, wing plates that fit up into the bow of the boat. Um, they're going to form the compartments for the front of the uh, or the bow, right up on the bow, and uh, my chain lockers, etc. And I'm using a piece of uh, seven mil MDF, which I get from the joinery guy next door. Young Joel has a lot of scrap packing, so there's no point in buying stuff for templates as long as you keep them dry. I've ascertained that uh, my approved plans are very, very different to the original plans that I got with the with. Um, the mould so I've now had that changed and because the deck profile had been changed and the number of hatches put in I've had to go back to the um, the new plans and work out where the bulkhead stations are going to be for the wing plates that go forward into the bridge deck um, you can see here and it's a bit hard to see but um, these hatches here are now the current layout whereas these ones here, these wing plates that run uh, parallel to the hull right up to the end of the bridge deck, um, these ones aren't relevant now because I need to allow for a chain locker uh, for a, uh, each of the hatches. So we've worked out that a bulkhead needs to be at 820 and then again at, um, I'm saying 2000 here, but I'm thinking it's more likely 1640 so that my hatches are equal size and provide the correct structure. Um, these are actually made of uh, 12mm marine ply 
with a 600 double bias and a 300 CSM on them. So they're pretty substantial bulkheads and, that, and they do provide a lot of structure into the bow of the boat. I'm um, trying to keep weight out, so we've gone down to 12 mil to keep that, uh, that strength there. We're not allowed to do it in foam because it is a slam zone because it's a full bridge deck catamaran. Um, so I've worked out now that I need to come back to 1.9 from here, which in fact is 2.4 from the very bow. So it's taken me a long time to work it out. Luckily I've got the deck mould sitting outside. I can go and just measure off it. I've then got uh, a copy of the plans for the wing plate shape, and you can see them here. They're actually shaped up and they curve up right to the bow, to the to the uh, the forebeam, and then cut back into the into the deck. Uh, what I'm planning to do is get this dimension right, but because the deck's sitting outside, and until I get the deck on, I'm not going to have an exact shape. So I'm going to have to leave these larger on the top and then trim them back once I uh, ascertain the actual profile of the deck, the exact profile, because I'm not gonna rely on a drawing when the mold was made five, six years after the uh, original plug was made. So there's a lot of working out to do, a lot of contingencies I need to think of. I'm, le I'm thinking I'll probably leave a couple of inches on top of these wing plates so that when the deck caps down, um, I can then work out exactly how much I need to chop off. From um, the first station at 820 mil from the centre line, uh, we worked out that we've got to be at uh, 2500, we have to be 95, and at uh, station 2400, I've got to be 100 millimetres up. So I've measured up from the bottom, 100 millimetres, that's my first intersecting point. Uh, then we're at, at station 2000, we're then at 125, there's my point there, 177. At 1500 and 282, uh, 282 at station 1000. So we're starting to see a, a curve, uh, which is our wing plate, up towards station 500. Which Alright, so I've just ran next door and scabbed this bit of aluminium. I'm going to actually use this to uh, attain this curve here. Uh, it's a nice uh, piece of angle. It's got just enough bend to be able to give me the, the shape I'm after. Righto, so I've lofted this uh, this wing plate on and you'll notice here that I've made a second line at 35mm which reflects the 30mm uh, foam and then around about 4 or 5mm of, uh, of glass laminate that's on it. I'm expecting to have to remove that so I've just made a secondary line so that I can then trim back to it and uh, while I've got it all here on the table. Um, you'll see this point here is actually the intersection between the deck and the hull, and it's at actually 10 millimeters. So um, the hull ends here, and then this is the beginning of the deck. So uh, yeah, it looks pretty accurate at this stage. Okay, so I think I've got it. It uh, took a bit of time, and I'm sorry I didn't film it, but it was just getting a little bit complicated. <laughs> um, I'm gonna jigsaw this out and uh, use it as a, as a base. I think I've, I've pretty much solved it. Um, again, I've left a 35 mil uh, rebate here. I haven't bothered with the top because I'm going to use that as a uh, as a guide, and I will have to drop that obviously with the um, with the foam. Uh, that's going to change the parameter of that particular uh, top of that wing plate. But yeah, I'm going to jigsaw it out now, and we'll go from there. <laughs>
so there's a, a fair bit of um, planning required here that's taking my time. Um, getting it all square and plumb and level is uh, is a challenge in itself. But now, not, not something you can't do, it just takes a lot of time and you know, I've been working on this area for about half a day now to get it, uh, to get it right and to make sure that it is dead square. After spending uh, countless hours um, trying to produce templates of bulkheads with all the unusual curves and chines inside my boat and I think every boat's the same. Um, I've decided I'm going to use Leo from Samson Boat Company from the Tally Ho project, uh, his idea of the chain jig. Um, I saw him do it a few months ago and honestly I thought that is just one of the most brilliant ideas so I'm going to make my own. Um, pretty simple, you just make these biscuits of, uh, of plywood, chain them together with wing nuts and it, it forms an easy template. So let's see how that goes, eh? So I've got some cheap sort of 3 mil ply here, I'm just going to cut a heap of biscuits and, uh, and, and make my own chain jig and hopefully that will simplify this process because it, it took me about 5 hours to get two templates done the other day, just a joke. <laughs> To do. I've got about um, six or eight strips there, uh, six actually, and uh, I'm just going to make around about, I guess about 40 of these little biscuits. Um, I'm going to do smaller jig profiles, I don't want to be doing it all in one because it's going to be a bit hard to brace. So I've worked out if I make them um, 12 centimetres long, so the diameter of the, of the curve is five, so I then make the drill hole at two and a half centimetres back, which is the centre point of the, the curve or the radius. Um, basically, I'll get a, 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 a more even uh, flow on my template. Um, if I was building a boat the size of a ship, I'd probably have biscuits this big, but I'm aiming for smaller ones because I really want to get it quite intricate to make sure that my, uh, my bulkheads fit intimately to the hull shape. Thirty-nine very rough and ready biscuits, but they will do to make the links for my chain. Well, I'm hoping that's going to pay off because that's about two hours work to do thirty-nine or forty biscuits, but um, they should work fine. So thirty-nine biscuits done. Okay, so just had a mate of mine come over and I was showing him uh, the idea of this uh, chain jig template. I reckon this is going to save me absolutely hours or weeks of templating so um i've uh, sort of slammed that together and i'm going to get some wing nuts tomorrow and you're yeah, very very happy with this idea mate this is what youtube is all about it's all these guys sharing their ideas i'm going to be able to get some very complex shapes out of this uh this chain jig so i'm just assembling my chain jig here with uh the wing nuts and um and I'm using Phillips on the other side. Phillips had uh, countersunk, so they bite into the timber. But you know, I'm gonna have a rant here. These, this absolutely shits me that I've gotta go in and buy five of these at a time in plastic packaging. I mean, as if we're not screwing the earth enough, um, I've gotta buy five at a time. I mean, honestly, whatever happened to the brown paper bag? You know, for God's sake, it's just absolutely out of control. Rant over, let's get my chain jig done, eh? There's a few things in life that just come to you and come to you right at the right time. And I guess when you're researching, you start to find things that you really, you know, that are gonna change your life. And right at a point where I start to stress about my bulkhead templates, I discovered this, oh man, honestly, this thing that has saved me months of work. 
of, uh, of, of laborious planning, changing and adjusting frames. So thank you buddy, you are a legend. Well, I have had uh, like three epic days, not that there's any such thing as non-epic days here on the mould, but um, I have seriously had a good couple of days. I've um, been able to, as you can see right up here, install uh, the templates for my bulkheads. I've got all the shake done with my chain jig. It's been an absolute winner. So you can see here, I've even got the, uh, the floor template started here, which is an old one that I inherited. So I'll be making a new one of those. And then up in the starboard end up here, we've got the forward head. I've been able to put the crash bulkhead uh, template in place. Uh, a little bit below that is the first bulkhead, or sorry, I call it the second one from the bow. Um, and then we have another one here and another one here. Now, remembering these are only templates, so I'm gonna then uh, lay them over foam, cut out the foam, glass the foam, and uh, and, and then install them and, and tab them in place. So ultimately, there's a lot going on and uh, and the thing's starting to take on almost a three-dimensional sort of uh, um, uh, effect and really pleasing to see stuff coming up out of the ground. So if you like this episode, please give me a like. Look. This is just absolutely huge, this project, and it's gonna go on for some time. So there's plenty more fodder for uh, for the avid boat builders amongst us and the DIY guys. So um, stay tuned, there's a lot more to come. Catch you later, bye.